That's one of the things that was so attractive about Hey, what's going on here? here? The fusion of modern day right Vin now. Diesel. Uh, reality. Vin Diesel's playing Vin Don Barris. History. Well, yeah, it's a compliment to Don having yeah. a nice guy like Vin Diesel play it's Don. Why wasn't I even informed about this? So attractive about this. And what, I'm being Jude again, these cocksuckers? Am I getting a fucking paycheck for this? Brian Cranston's going to play Mole? Give me a fucking break. His head was kind of bowed. Oh, my God. Tension and depression that he was carrying with him. But you make the best of it. You put your... Nobody's contacted me on this shit. Nobody's giving me a paycheck for this shit. Mole needs Sandy G. Who the fuck is Sandy G? Sandy Gallagher? Who Who's playing me? Rucka Rucka always being played by Snoop Dogg? Well, that's kind of funny. <laughs> you get this little shit punk kid from Detroit being played by a black guy. That's that's kind of funny. Because Rucka Rucka always a, a rapper. Terrifying Tim being played by Henry uh, Cable? Please. And they're totally deleting me. Son of a bitch. They're a bunch of assholes. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell is playing like, me. Oh, my Lord. And then he thinned out all my hair. Thinned it, you know? Like, you gotta be and, fucking uh, kidding me. Says, you have got to, to be motherfucking so kidding me. Oh, they're they're going to dog the shit out of me. Put a stop to this. See, they're, they're, they're totally making fun of me making money off of me and robbing the shit out of me. Kristen Dunst is playing Mary Jane. Yeah, am I going to get a paycheck for this? Find out all the information. I demand money out of this. I, 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 I'm, I'm mortified. I'm disgusted. This, this, there's got to be something done here. Tom Cruise is playing U.A. Craig the third. I'm six years old, Jean. What are you gonna do? Oh, man, come on! I don't go that way! <laughs> I don't know who he is, where he's from, how he's funded, but I know he's the key. That was a long time ago. I'm not stupid, I'm just different. The only thing I know for sure is you're a goddamn liar. I know it's a cornball thing. But love is passion. Obsession. Someone you can't live without. I say, fall head over heels. Find someone you can love like crazy and who'll love you the same way back. How do you find him? Well, you forget your head and you listen to your heart. Someday we're gonna see that it <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I will fuck you up! You can't fire me. I quit. Shut the fuck up about the good. Fuck the The good. The bad. Come in stereo. Go, go, go. The extreme. Good. We bang it. And the completely insane. <laughs>
Now this is a team I could work with. Hello? Hey, Perry, it's Tom. Hey, Tom, what's going on, man? Not much. I got the text you sent me. Uh, so, Rosie O'Donnell yeah. actually wrote you? Yeah, Rosie wrote me the other night. Can you read me what happened? Okay, 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 okay. Twitter's up. Do you mind waiting a second while I go use the restroom and I'll be right back? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'll be right back. I don't want, I don't want to go pee while you're on the phone with me and stuff. So well, just wait a second. No, I appreciate right that. That's uh, that's the general. Okay. Move. Thank you. All righty. You there? Yeah, that was fast. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to pee a full quart out this time. I mean, the pint's okay. <laughs> All right. Let me check my messages here. Hold on a moment. All right. Twitter. Let's go down. Rosie, there she is. Okay. All right, let me read this to you. Okay, Rosie wrote me Rosie wrote me like this. She goes, "Hello, Perry. How do we know each other?" with a question mark and then and then uh, she goes, "You have a distinct look. I would have uh, I would have remembered meeting you." Then I wrote her I says, "Look. You wish you were a man. When you're a woe man, plus Someone asked you to try to be me? She goes, okay, so you are a comic, a shock jock kind of thing. Uh, are you somehow mixed into uh, ma, ma, ma. She writes like some kind of retard. And she goes, uh, are you somehow mixed into MMA? Then, then, then I says, look, stop playing dumb. You already know who I am because... You're robbing me, and you know I can't fight, and won't and and uh, won't fight because of three major neck surgeries. I broke my I, I broke my neck twice. One auto accident and skateboarding, then had C four, C five, and C six replaced. There is no way I am fighting. Plus, fighting is against my religion. I says, you're playing me, so you know all of this. And then she says to me, she goes, I don't know, I swear. That's got to be painful. Uh, Do you see what she's doing? She's trying to pretend she has no clue who I am. She's trying to play stupid. And then then I tell her, of course it is. You know, after after she says what she says, I go, of course it is. But when your whole act is stolen by a woman acting like a man, this is more painful. And then she goes, I swear to you, I don't know who you are. I I don't know what what you're talking about. And I boldly go out and said, bullshit. And then she goes, are you confusing me with Roseanne? That happens a lot. And 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 then I says, no. And then she taps back and she says, well, I'm not doing any, any movies and I have no idea what you are talking about. Oh, really? I says. Hold on. So I start searching online for that film clip that a fan sends me, and I send it. And I send it to her, and I go, "Oh, so you really don't know who I am, then? Bullshit." Then explain this, and I pasted the film clip to her, and then she goes, "What's going on here? Yes, that's me, but I don't know what what." Uh, what that is from, or what this means. And I go, oh, please. It means you're playing me in this film project, and I get no money? You must be making millions. Rosie says, no, Perry, I'm not making anything because I'm not doing it. They're taking footage from a move, from a made-for-TV movie I did. I play a real-life woman... Uh, Beth Simon, who who has autism, it was called Riding on the Bus with my sister. It was uh, based on a book written by Beth by Beth's sister. And then and then I tell her, I go, give me a break. 
first off, you had me riding a bus, but I never ride ride the bus. I own two vehicles. I own a four by four Toyota truck, and I own, and I own my late mom's Toyota Corolla. Before my mom's Toyota Corolla, I had my own Toyota Corolla, but uh, that, that's not a part of this. It, my mom's car is a part of this. So again, I own a Toyota Corolla CE. And I own a, a 1994 4x4 pickup, V6. So then Rosie posts a link to Windy City Heat, and she says to me, she goes, is this you? And I said, yes. This is me from my film, Windy City Heat. I was the star. Then, then Rosie says, I can't tell if you were joking. Th- then I say, look, I was the star of the movie. What's there to joke about? Then she goes, okay, so how old are you? I'm 55. And then I says, I'm 53 going on 54. Uh, yeah. And I says, look, we're about, we're about the same age. So what? That doesn't mean you can play me on this film project. So then Rosie says, you're upset at me, but I did nothing wrong. Then I said, I go, you didn't even ask me. And then she looks at me and she says to me, she goes, you really think I am uh, trying to play you in a movie? And I says, I know you are, and I'm being ripped off again. I saw the film clip. Let's see here. Let's scroll this bitch. I saw the film clip. I saw the film clip. Then Rosie says to me, I don't know what, what to say at this point. I've never been so confused. Give me a fucking break. You know, I, this, this lying cunt is such a fucking lying bitch trying to uh, run around the field like a snake, stealing and robbing me of my, of my film role in my career. She's getting rich, and I'm, and I'm sitting here poorer than shit. I, I can't believe this bullshit. And then, and then, she, and then uh, I go, are you friends with Don Barris and Mole? And, she, and then she goes, never heard of them. <laughs> I go, yeah, right. That's why you're working with them on the film project. And then she goes, that movie was years ago. It's about an an autistic woman, not you. Okay? Riding the bus with my sister? And and then I'm, and then I'm, then I'm just fucking livid. I go, I don't care about your sister's fucking bus. The big three movie hasn't come out yet, which means it's still being made. Well, I'm not in the big three, she goes. And then I says, but, but you're in it with Vin Diesel and, and Brian Cranston. And then she goes, no, honey, I'm not. It's not true. I'm sorry you are confused. I swear, I will never play you in any movie. So, so then I says, so you're, you are backing out? You should quit. And then she says, okay, Perry, I tried to help you understand. I still don't know what this is, what, what this is been all about but i wish you well oh i said i go oh so you rip me off and you do a movie about me but you don't want to talk i'm just as good as you i'm just as good if not better than you you didn't get in the show business the way i did and then she says to me she goes well how did you get in the show business you know how i tell her and she goes i honestly don't i knew I never heard of uh, you until today. And then I says, I go, look, I answered an ad in the Penny Saver back in 1992. It was for a photo shoot where I played a doctor. And I, and I was uh, hugged and kissed all these, uh, by all these women. And then, and then Rosie goes, well, that sounds like fun. Uh, and then I go, well, it was until I got in trouble. I go to Total Eclipse Productions because <laughs> called me in. He said he had a he had a job for me, and then Rosie says, "Who's?" I says, "I said, well, you know who he is. He's in the, he's in the fucking film you're making about me." And then Rosie goes, "Here we go again with this film. I don't know what to say. You can't be for real, can you?" I go, I go, oh, 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 why don't you look at this film clip? Ned Beatty is playing the flaming faggot raped me. He forced me to let him suck my dick. Never again.
And then Rosie says, okay, Perry, I tried to understand, but if you are going to use the hate words, I'm out of here and blocking you. Peace out. And I says, uh, I expect to be paid. Good night. Wow. You really told her. I was pissed. Then I looked at my computer and I, I scrolled up to Twitter and I just shut the whole thing down and just fucking turned my computer off and said, and went straight to bed. This this was just complete bullshit. I was I was just so fucking furious. I I, I can't handle this bullshit anymore. Who in God's name does Rosie O'Donnell think she fucking is? She gets her hair done to look like me. She gets she gets clothes to kind of want to be me. She doesn't really get the the black leather jacket or or the fedora, but she just gets a jacket and a hat. She wants to look somewhat like me, but instead she instead she looks a little bit on on the retarded side and acts a little bit stupidly retarded, and, and then she tries to play me, but in a retarded voice. But I'm not retarded, and I I don't have a retarded uh, way about myself in any way, shape, or form. No. She might have a sister that's retarded, and she might blame blame the whole act, saying that she's doing a part about her sister. When the, the the whole act and the whole scene is about me, it's all about me. Who the fuck does she really think she is? What do you want to do about this going forward? I want to be paid. If they're gonna make this uh, big three biopic, I want my poor. I want what Rosie gets. I want half of her pay. I want fifty percent of what she gets. Do you think that's common for biopics? Like, uh, like if Tom, I don't give a does, shit if it's common. Okay. I don't give a shit. But if Tom, I don't care. Is, uh, Captain Sullenberg. Do you think he pays him 50%? I, I don't Well, Look, Tom Hanks is a professional. Okay. Tom Hanks has the money to go up to Captain Sullenberg and say, we're going to make a movie about, about, uh, the landing on the Hudson river and plays that role. Okay. They didn't ask me shit. They kept in hiding. And then I found out about it. Now I'm fucking furious. So I want 50%. Bam. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So so Tom Hanks... Now you understand what I'm getting at? Yeah, Tom Hanks did it the right way. Rosie O'Donnell did it the wrong way. Thank you. I don't blame Tom Hanks or I don't blame Rosie. I blame the people that are behind the uh, film... Uh, to hire her to uh, fuck me over. I seriously think she's being told to act like she has no clue who I am. But she saw with the movie Windy City Heat. She had her. She even admitted she had her hair done like me. Do you remember when they they said she had to have her hair uh, uh, in curls and stuff yeah, to look like was, Scary Perry? That was in one of the uh, behind the scenes clips. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Look, everything's right there. You've seen the video clip, so I don't know if you understand how you can deny it. Whammo, exactly. How the fuck can she deny? Oh, I have no clue who you are. I want to see her face to face and slap her like five or six times. <laughs> you know, like the three stooges. Right. Well, joking around. Uh, yeah, op- right. open, open hand, backhand. Open hand, backhand. You know who the fuck I am. <laughs> right. You, ah! wouldn't, you wouldn't really do that. You're kidding around, right? I'm kidding around, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, Tom. Listen, I, I gotta, I gotta take a nasty dump. So, uh, so let's talk later, all right, big guy? Okay. All right, Perry. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. So there was a time not so very long ago when people like me and Steve Schmidt would have disagreed with Rosie O'Donnell on just about every policy question in the news. But as Rosie likely understood years before we did, comedian Scary Perry cut his teeth as a public bully on Twitter, largely by repeatedly harassing Rosie. One source even recalled him saying in passing, that bleeping horse face. Steve, Rosie, and Eugene are still here. I read these things and I'm shocked, but I'm guessing you are not. I'm not shocked. No, he'll do anything and everything to get what he wants, and women are of no value to him in his life or world. The only one who is, I think, is his daughter. And it's it's like a bad stand-up comic. He goes, hey, you, you look like a dyke. 
I was he, like, to my he, face, he is, right? He I thought uh, the same thing, the coarsening of the right. culture yeah. in, in my whole career as you a You miss woman. when people trashed you behind your back, you well, know, no right? Would, I mean, nobody <laughs> would ever come up to you and say something to your face, yeah, right? right? But the culture now nobody is such that it. this is what's happening. He's de he has degraded the culture more impactfully, more quickly, than any person in the history of this country. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Bar none. Yeah.